Hi everyone. In this video, I will explain the significance of the discrete line spectrum. A hot solid, such as the filament in a light bulb, emits light when it's hot. If you study the spectrum of the light given off by a hot solid, you will see a continuous spectrum. From the bluest blue to the reddest red, all the wavelengths are present. The spectrum may peak at yellow or at red or anywhere. The key point is, a hot solid emits light continuously across all the wavelengths. A hot gas also emits light. The spectrum of the light given off by a hot gas is called the emission spectrum. The emission spectrum is not a continuous spectrum. It's a discrete line spectrum. It doesn't have any green, yellow, and all the different shades of red are missing. All it has are emission lines at very specific wavelengths. A particular shade of red, a particular shade of blue, and so on. Some emission lines are brighter than the others, but the key point is, a hot gas does not emit light continuously across all the wavelengths. Instead, a hot gas emits light at very specific and disjointed wavelengths. You can pass a beam of light that has a continuous spectrum through a cool gas. If you study the spectrum of the light that has been filtered by the cool gas, you see what is called the absorption spectrum. It's basically a continuous spectrum punctured by dark absorption lines. So all the different shades of colors are unaffected except for a very specific shade of red, a very specific shade of blue, and so on. The absorption lines are actually not completely dark, and some absorption lines are darker than the others. But the key point is, the cool gas does not absorb light continuously across all wavelengths. Instead, the cool gas absorbs lights of very specific and disjointed wavelengths. An obvious difference between a hot gas and a hot solid is that a gas consists of individual atoms, whereas a solid uh, has atoms that have formed bonds. So the discrete emission lines and absorption lines strongly suggest that the energy levels of individual atoms are discrete in nature. I'll explain that in another video. Ta-da!